How's it going guys? I'm Brent Fiore and you are watching the Ashby Tapes. On this channel we talk about all things style, fashion, fragrance, and we do specific deep dives into certain brands that I love. If you have a brand you want me to check out, do some research into, get back to you on a review of one of their pieces, leave that down in the comments. I will definitely check it out. Another thing here, thank you for all the views recently. I really appreciate it but a lot of you are not subscribed and I would really appreciate it, appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. We're on the road to 2000 subscribers. A thousand is crazy and I couldn't be more grateful, but if you wanna support me, support the channel, all it takes is one click of a button. Today we're going to be talking about three brands I think are going to pop off here in 2023. Three brands I think you need to check out. Two of these brands I own pieces by, specifically pants, but I've felt some of their other stuff and I know of their quality, their form and their function. I'm gonna tell you how to get them at a good price, where to get them, and I'll tell you a little bit about the brand along with some of their catalog I'll throw in the B-roll. So without further ado, if you're looking for a new brand to try here in 2023, here are three brands I think you should check out. The first brand I wanna talk about is the brand called Amendi. I was introduced to this brand a little over a year ago from Nordstrom Rack. I was doing my local rounds at the local Nordstrom Rack. You know I love that store. And I was looking for a summer pair of denim I could wear, or maybe I wasn't looking for anything at all, and I just found these beautiful Ecru pair of denim from the brand Amendi. I've fallen head over heels in love with their denim, and specifically their denim. They do have a great catalog of jackets, some hoodies, some shirts, although not particularly stuff I would go out of my way to purchase. Their jeans are truly where they shine. I do really love their product. They are a brand that focuses on transparency and pieces that will last you a lifetime. And that's what I love about this brand. You shouldn't be buying jeans every month, every two months. You should have one pair of jeans and they should last you forever. My blue pair of denim by them are currently at the tailors getting altered, a button broke. So I will show you guys that maybe in the next video, I'll do a deep dive on this brand. But this is a brand of denim that I think is going to fit everyone's trends, wish list for what jeans are. They're transparent, eco-friendly and sustainable. You can see where it was manufactured, how much water was used, how much the person who makes it made, how much the person who shipped it made, where the origin is, what, where the cotton comes from, just lovely details of the brand. All of that is great, but if they're not high quality and they don't fit well, they're not worth it. This is on the contrary to Amendi. Amendi's jeans are super high quality. My white pair, the Ecru pair are beautiful for the summer. What I love about these, these are in their classic fit. They have a little bit higher of a rise, which I truly appreciate on these. This means I can tuck in my shirt and my legs look a little bit longer on my short stature. The blue ones are the same way in, a, in what's called the bob fit. These are a little bit looser pair of denim, but I love these. They have that kind of 90s that is really, really popular this year. These are 100% cotton. I know the last forever and the blue color I have on these is fantastic. These jeans are high quality. It shows you where they're made and they fit perfectly. A lot of these higher waisted, looser fit denim can be very expensive, and Amendi isn't an exception to that. You'll pay from anywhere from $225 to $285 for a pair of their denim. I found this pair, the white one at Nordstrom Rack, for literally less than $12. Lucky find for me, and I didn't get even have an employee discount at the time. This next pair, the blue pair I found, I found on eBay, brand new for less than $30. So definitely do your shopping around for Amendi's. I know eBay can be a good spot for it and your local discounters. This is a newer brand and they are doing some awesome things in the denim world. They are offering a repair shop around the world, kind of like a guarantee. I've never had good luck with those in Minnesota, but they offer it and it is fantastic. They curate particular pieces for a particular style. And I think these jeans remind me of the Amy denim that everyone is in love with at a lower price point. And denim is just cotton at the end of the day. The stitching is superb on these, the fit is superb. So these would be a good alternative to your Amy jeans. If you're looking for a beautiful pair of sartorial dressy jeans 
or just casual everyday jeans, this is a brand I really think you should check out here in 2023. This next brand is a brand that I found a little over a year ago. I was looking over some trousers. I wanted a higher waisted so my legs could look longer, pleated pair of trousers that I could put a cuff on, and the brand Bergenberg jumped out at me. Now at the time they were a little too expensive so I didn't get them right away. I waited for them to go on sale. They went on sale fairly quick. I picked them up and boy oh boy this is a brand that I am now in love with. All of their clothing are carefully considered and meticulously made, as they say. And that is a true statement. Their mission statement is encompassing tailoring, casual wear, and accessories. The Bergenberg offers a rooted in classicalism, but never mired in the past. We are inspired by the full silhouettes of the 20th century, but want to make clothing that feels modern, relevant, and above all else, easy to wear. They also say they are on the mission to create the perfect wardrobe, and I, I really think they've accomplished it. Their trousers are the best trousers I've ever put on. Their blazers look amazing. Although I have not owned one because of the price, I will own one in the future, I can guarantee you that. Everything about this brand, their denim looks amazing. The rise, the fit, gorgeous. Their belts look awesome. Their, even their socks look amazing to wear. This is a brand that I kind of fanboy over because it's it's just a brand I can get behind. Everything about their catalog is fantastic and I think you should check them out before they go to the moon and they stop doing sales. Right now you can go to their website and all of their stuff or most of their catalog is 40% off and I think if you wait it out maybe a week and a half, follow them on Instagram, wait for some updates, you'll find it for 50% off. They do this most seasons. Although on the pricey side of things, one of these pieces will last you forever and they will never go out of style. Now, if you're not into that sartorial kind of classical 20th century look, that's okay because their pieces fit really on trend right now, more of that loose, higher waisted look. You can find a sweater that I think you can pull from there and wear with a streetwear look. This brand is fantastic and I definitely think you should check them out here in 2023. This next brand I'm going to look at is a brand that I haven't actually tried, but I am, I found and they're on my radar and I really wanna try a pair of their sunglasses. It is a straight eyewear brand out of Los Angeles, a small independent company. So they're not owned by a giant conglomerate like a lot of these other sunglass companies are. They have a flagship store in New York and they focus on uncompromising quality, they say, which sounds right up my alley. And this brand, Aquila, makes gorgeous, gorgeous sunglasses. Some of their pieces are a little avant-garde for my taste, a little more of that street trend wear. I won't be purchasing those, but there are a couple silhouettes by them that are just gorgeous. They have that thick frame, high quality materials, stainless steel innards, just awesome pieces. If you've tried this brand, let me know down in the comments below and, and we can definitely talk about it because I want to learn more if they're worth it or not. But this is a brand of shades that I just think look fantastic. They are more stylized but still have high quality. The issue with most glasses is you'll pay $800 for a pair of designer glasses that look okay. And these niche brands are super expensive, but this one I found is a good middle ground and for what I'm looking for are fantastic. The cool thing about these is anyone can wear them. Streetwear, Satorial, um, I found these on Instagram from one of my favorite creators and um, we'll definitely be buying a piece from them soon. And it's a brand that I'm looking forward to trying and. I will get eventually and I'll give you a full breakdown on them, but that's kind of my mystery pick for the year and a brand that I think will get a lot bigger over the course of this year, which is Aquila. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are the three brands I think will go to the moon this year. Brands that you need to try if you're in the market for uh, pants, you know, sweaters, glasses. We kind of covered all our bases here. If you're new here, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Jesus loves you even more and we'll see you in the next one.